Hey guys, what's up? Team Natty back here again. Today we're going to be talking about the New Balance Fuel Cell Rebel. Now, back in April, I did a, an, initial, an initial thoughts, like feedback on this shoe. Uh, I ran it then. I didn't honestly, I, I like the look of it. It looks so flippin' cool. Besides this whole like wing thing going on the side. You got this, this wing and it extends out. But otherwise, I think the shoe looks so freaking cool. I loved it, uh, the way it looks at least. The way it feels, it's really snug and tight. It's got this booty construction going on. And I, I talk about everything in the other video. You know, you're gonna see um, all the details in there and the specs, this is just the full review, really, on this shoe. I never got around to doing it. COVID kind of hit, I focused on my fitness, I focused on my diet, I focused on running. I was getting into a new job, so I was really focused on that, and I just wasn't really in the YouTube game. And now I'm trying to get back into it a little bit before something new comes along. So, anyway, this shoe, a lot of people love it. A lot of people really enjoy this shoe, and I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't. I have, uh, the reason it took me so long, another reason it took me so long to make this video is because when I would run, I would not pick up this shoe. I would go pick up something else. Almost all the time. Every time I tried running in the shoe, my ankles hurt. It destroyed my ankles. It just, I mean, it just did not feel fun to run in. I felt like it was fast. It's definitely a very, I mean, this shoe, super light, super light, very quick, responsive. Trust me, I, I like what they're trying to do here, but I just did not like, I mean, I love the look of it. I think it's cool. But it hurts so bad for me to wear this shoe. Um, especially as someone who suffered with Achilles tendonitis before, this just did not feel good at all to run in. Um, I think it has to do with this wing going on here. Every time uh, I would run in this shoe, this part of my leg would just tighten up so bad and made it so unbearable to run and um, so unbearable to run and work out in. It just was painful. It hurts. Uh, I think it's because when you are in this shoe and this wings out here, it makes your like foot curve inward like this. Uh, so it just fucked me up for lack of a better term. Don't listen to that word. It's a bad word. Don't, don't, don't repeat what, don't repeat what I say. Anyway, thing is looking at this shoe, I've ran it a little bit. You can see, well, hopefully if the light light would be all right, let me see if I can change this. You can see on the shoe, there's some wear on the inside there. I think that's from like the my foot being bent inward. Uh, shoot, I don't know. I mean, I'm trying my best here to make this look good. But anyway, right here along this edge, this is like starting to like disintegrate and wear out. The rubber has got some small signs of wear where it's like flattened out right here. Oh, this camera's stuck on focusing on my my face. Focus on this instead. So anyway. The rubber has some small wear spots right here. Uh, traction on this has stayed really well over the miles I've put on it. You can see small signs of wear on like the little nubs, but nothing crazy, none of them flattened out. And then small signs of wear like right here where I toe off. Um, other than that, this thing has held up. I have put some miles into it. I, I've tried my best to run this a good bit so that I can actually review it and tell you how I feel about it. You know, I don't want to like go in this and just say it sucks because I never like gave it a chance, but I did. Like I would run four to five miles in this a couple times and then I went and just put two miles on it the other day and I still did not like the feel of it. Just couldn't get into it guys. So Fuel Cell Rebel, not a win for me. This thing is out the door now though. They're not doing it anymore. They've moved on to bigger and better things of which I have ordered and where the heck's that delivery guy at? Anyway, should be coming here soon, it's on its way today. Um, well, the day that I made this video, not the day that I upload it, but getting the New Balance Fuel Cell Prism, which is supposed to be inspired by the Rebel, and it's more structured shoe. So I hope that I enjoy that more. I'm gonna be doing a lot more running, uh, not by my choice, but we'll get into that later. Rebel is a no for me. I know a lot of people like this shoe. I, it's light, maybe if you don't suffer from what I suffer from, then it's fine, I just, makes makes my foot curve in i uh, just do not i don't like it as much as i thought i would uh i've honestly every time i've ran in the shoe i wish i would have reached for like the new balance zante pursuit um for me that like was a much better tempo shoe this is like supposed to be an upbeat tempo shoe 
couldn't get into it as much. So it's great looking, but it's not for me. That's my full review on this shoe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, take it easy. Stay natty. Team Natty out, baby.